skadoosh, guys. We're watching Kung Fu Panda 4 with Aquafina. Aquafina! <laughs> if you want us to check out more sweet DreamWorks movies, then comment them down below and get this video to 12,000 likes. And if you guys want to watch all of our Kung Fu Panda videos, the full commentaries for every single one, then head over to Patreon.com to spill in the mill. Subscribe so Aquafina can come over to your house. Or subscribe so she doesn't do that. It's been so long. Like, what is the gap in time between the third and fourth movie? Do you think Poe has, like, a daughter? Like, with that Maymay Tiger. character? Wait, who's Maymay? Maymay's the annoying panda woman. Oh, like, oh. fuck. It's gotta be Tigress, bro. <gasps> Tai Lung! That's for the first movie. God, I'm such a fucking loser reactor. <laughs> Shut up, Jack. Apparently, like, the original pitch for this movie was there were going to be, like, a mix of live action and animation. You're lying. No. It's a real interview. There is a universe out there where we could have gotten a CG Kung Fu Panda teaming up with IRL Aquafina. That sounds horrible. That's how, I'm so happy that didn't happen. We have to talk. Absolutely. Let's talk. Right after the ceremony. Yo, that's crazy. Poe gets just a little bit famous and he forgets Shifu. And now he's showing, oh my God, dude. This is like the YouTuber when they get their 100K plaque. They're like, this is my YouTube plaque. It's covered in dust because I left it in the corner <laughs> of my room and didn't touch it. Unfortunately, no, they're off on super cool kung fu missions. Oh, yeah, because they're not in the movie, right? Or, like, they play a very small role. It's really beautiful that they have three shows and four movies, and they have still never figured out how to do anything with the Furious Five. I feel like that's the most obvious direction is to focus more on them. But then I guess it wouldn't be Kung Fu Panda. Then Aquafina wouldn't be in the movie, and that's, that's a big no. You will advance to the highest level in all of kung fu spiritual leader of the valley of peace what's next leader of the communist china party like how far can we go he's already the ultimate dragon warrior oh my god poe is a bear just like winnie the pooh it's just the natural evolution being the dragon warrior is all i know it's who i am not anymore so is he basically gonna fulfill like shifu's role yeah basically poe goes through the same character arc in every movie <laughs> he is content with what he's doing but the master shifu is like no you're not good enough and then he exceeds that choose the next dragon warrior oh my god mr beast plays the pig what is happening the dragon warrior it's me! Oh no, that is really cringe. <laughs> That's so awkward. How are they cheering? That's so evil for him to That's say that. That's actually crazy. That's like Simon Cowell on American Idol. He's like, who is the American Idol? It's me! I'm the reason you're watching this show. You watch so I yell at the people. <laughs> Every pit holds the promise of a mighty tree. Uh, how is this gonna help me find answers? If every pork chop, if every peach were perfect, we wouldn't have pits. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> okay, Steven Universe. Yeah, there we go. All right, Universe. <laughs> oh! 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 This is not working at all. Maybe focus on your breathing. What? <laughs> is that scary? Is it just me or does this not feel like a Kung Fu Panda joke? Yeah, this movie feels really weird. What? <laughs> I know you're in here! Aquafina. Does she play like a similar role that she does in like the bad guys to where like she's a sneaky little guy? Cause she's a bad guy. Nothing about you says dragon or warrior. <clears throat> yeah! This really is the conflict in every single movie. He's epic guy and they're like, well, you don't seem like a very epic guy cause you like- Because boom. you're fat! You're fat! Fat people could never be cool. And then the fat people are cool and then spits out cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Of I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw her character design, I didn't like it because it doesn't look like a Kung Fu Panda character design, but I feel like in motion, it's a lot better. Like actually animated, not on promotional art, it does look better. <laughs> This is definitely like a Roblox mini game, bro. This is a three tile running mobile game like Subway Surfers and Minion Rush and Sonic whatever. Editor, next time we're talking and we're like going on a long winded opinion, just put her dodging all those tiles and then it would be like a clip in Subway Surfers. Oh yeah, yeah like, like you put like something that's actually entertaining on the screen so that when people are listening to it, oh. he's not going to stop until the Valley of Peace falls and the Dragon Warrior bows before him. The characters like look more human than 
than in the That's previous what I was movies. saying. That's literally what I was thinking. Because when that goat started talking, I'm like, why does that kind of just look like a normal guy? It kind of has that look of like cleaned up motion capture where like they did animate, but they use motion capture for a base because they just, they move so humanly in a kind of a creepy way. Yeah, Poe is the only character in this movie. Why isn't Tigress in the movie? Do they just not want to pay Angelina Jolie in this movie? I'm talking about the chameleon. That's kind of weird that they didn't keep the mystery of it being Tai Lung coming back. Like, she just tells him, yeah, it's just someone who shapeshifted. That's weird, yeah. I feel like that could have been, like, an interesting plot reveal. Or, like, we could have seen the character. Like, they should develop the villain of the movie right now and not make Aquafina tell us who the villain is. That's kind of how they did the other movies, yeah. especially with, like, Tai Lung. Like, he was coming. And every single time you saw him, he kept coming and coming and coming. And coming. And then eventually he came. Your job is finding a successor. The dragon warrior and I have a deal. Mind your own business, squirrel. I love the body language. It's so different from like every other character. Like it feels like she's just vibing. Yeah. Like she doesn't even care that she's in this movie. And she's got way more sass than like every other character. I feel like it's a healthy addition. Think of it as one last dragon warrior adventure. I'll be back soon. They're saying that straight into the camera. Just think of it as one last dragon warrior adventure. Until we release the next movie. So Kung Fu Panda 5. <laughs> okay, if they make Kung Kung Fu Panda 5, it has to be about the Furious 5, right? No. It's Kung Fu Panda <laughs> 5. Please. He's always come out on top. And you're right. You're right. But what if you're wrong? They do give, like, like he's calming him down from his panic attack type beat. Like, they yeah. have, like, a loving relationship with each other. I want them to be in love so bad. I want it. I need it. Oh my god, the reverse dolly foe thing they had going on there added a level of suspense to the way they introduced that character. Like, that was solid. That was cool. What's the catch? The rub, the bamboozle. The bamwoodle? You know, the fleece, the rook, the flim flam. Oh, yeah. Sorry, that was just disgusting dialogue. What was the dialogue? It was just like, what's the catch? What's the hook? What's the flim flam? The rub? Because he gave her half the cookie and she's like, I'm a thief and no one gives things for free. <laughs> They're building it up, man. They're building it up. I don't care what anyone <laughs> says. I'm allowed to have my head cannon. I swear to God, if they don't kiss in the climax of this movie, I'm gonna fucking blow a lid. <laughs> a lid. A lid. <laughs> That's Juniper City. That's where I'll find the chameleon, huh? Just a boat ride away. Editor, you don't have to include this in the video. The fox is kind of bad. It's the Judy Hopps effect. It is the Judy. I actually like, I've been holding it in this entire video. Since showed <laughs> stop, up. stop, stop. I'm sorry, are you accusing me of cheating? I would like to speak to the manager, please. I'd like to speak to the man. That's not even something you would say in that context. You're winning in a casino and you're like, I'd like to speak to the manager. Come and get it. No, 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 no. Don't come and get it. Destroy them. This feels like a worse version of Last Wish. Oh, yeah. Like the way it's paced and the way the characters come in and it's like, I'm going to say my one line and then we're all going to fight. But it's like generic version of that. <laughs> this is such a creative way to like do a scene. The whole environment in which they are fighting it is with respect to the weight on each side because the building is about to fall over. Like that's so creative. I think this belongs to you. I like how Poe's like, sorry, you're not allowed to steal from them, but we're going to beat them up and assault them. <laughs> yeah! He said the line! Wait, there's no... Yeah! He used a skadoosh to take out a bunch of fucking stupid, dumb henchmen in a random bar. This is fucking ADHD. This is TikTok cinema. This is what the Mario movie did to animated movies. This isn't a real scene. I'm doing <laughs> Yeah, what is this B-plot? It's so stupid. What's the conflict? They both care about Poe and they're going to Poe, but there's no like, what's the character journey happening here? It wasn't easy being a little fox in a big city. I feel like they sped run this character. Usually like that backstory would be like 20 or 30 minutes later in the movie. She's just completely sympathetic, like right off the bat. Oh, that guy, he drinks like a fish. That was such, what the? I'll expand my rule from Juniper City to every city and town and village. Okay, if she's a shapeshifter, is it blackface? If you're a white person who can shapeshift and you shapeshift into a black person, is that blackface? 
How is Poe never seen that heard of this city before? Apparently Poe just jacks off and plays video games all day. How are you a fish out of water? You're the dragon warrior. This is your fourth movie, Poe. The smells. Me entering Japan, like, actually. <laughs> you stick your head in through the window of a random person's <laughs> house. Give me your udon! The law has better things to do than look for me. Hey, Fox, we've been looking for you. Groaner. Groan. <laughs> Groan Fu Panda is not what I want to be watching right now. The Kung Fu Panda! Wait, wait! Wait, how did he get locked up? What? Also, he was about to... Okay, what is Poe's logic in this movie? She is a wanted criminal. And in the last scene, he was like, you always have to do the right thing. And the right thing was allowing her to be locked up. Yeah, the right thing is getting her arrested and publicly executed. We gotta get out of here before they call for... Wait, what? Hold on, is this music? It's crazy train, bro. It's crazy train core. It is crazy train. It is. That's awesome. You know, I appreciate that they actually made an effort to put it in the style of the setting. Yeah, they want to be Avatar so bad. <laughs> yeah. That was so of my cabbages moment right there. Oh, is that really you? Han, my old mentor. That's the dad from uh, Everything Everywhere. There are other ways to bring peace than by kicking butt. Oh, come on, really? Now? Yes. Why does this is like a running joke in the movie? There's a lot of running jokes in the movie, and it's got like a 40% hit rate. <laughs> That's pretty high. I give it 20. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think you're misunderstanding the fundamental More point violence. of what. Ultra violence! Slowly turns into an animated clockwork orange. Yeah. This place doesn't look very friendly. It doesn't look very friendly to people like us. Like us gays. They have like an LGBTQ flag on the side and there's like an X through it. Like no gays allowed. Now this can go one of two ways. Cut this out. Why? This is such a weird decision. All of this time could have been spent developing Poe and Aquafina more. Yo, I'm a pee during this useless scene. It's hard to understand what you're saying. <sighs> <laughs> it seems kind of worth it just to see the house fall off. Skadoosh. Skadoosh isn't a word. And skablam is? Skablam does not hit the way skadoosh does. Let's just be honest here. Wait, do you think the fox is going to betray Poe in the second act low sure. point? <laughs> this is like sleepover as a kid, bro. There's not enough bed, so you're all sleeping on the floor. Hey! <laughs> She plugged up his nose and then it turned into a fart. That was actually a messed up scene. Look out! Huh? Oh my god, she sold him out! She sold him out! Here, use my staff! All right, stand back! Here I go! No! Jen? No, she stole it! <laughs> Betrayal! She had no fear. Such potential. This would have hit more if we spent more time with the characters instead of cutting away to fucking dads. <laughs> Imagine like in the middle of this scene, they cut back to the dads. <laughs> Kung Fu may be performed by the body, but its secrets are housed in the spirit. Am I crazy or was there no reason for her to be a chameleon? She was like, oh, you're gonna need someone to help you find the chameleon because they can shapeshift into anything. How you find them? But she's just like in a palace. That wasn't really a problem. Also, one of the have been like makes sense to use her chameleon powers to like maybe make her look like Jen and that's how he was tricked or something. I was just doing what I was told. Apologize later. Right now I have to stop the chameleon. Oh, oh my god I knew it. I guess the children's movie. Did she switch up already? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god he's falling so far. Well done Jen. You never said you were gonna hurt him. What is this? You never said you were gonna hurt him. You're just gonna steal from him and ruin his life. What do you mean? <laughs> of course she's gonna hurt him. What? Well, this is quite the cliffhanger. <laughs> that oh my god. so genuine. Yeah, I was like, that scream there like actually scared me a little bit. What? 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 No, save me! Ah! Why would you be happy to see your dad here? Like, he's going to die with- It's okay. How the fuck did they get here? They went to the top of the mountain and then fell off because they saw Poe falling? What the fuck is the logic? Nothing's ever been the same since. 
Change doesn't always have to be a bad thing. Change doesn't always have to be a bad thing. You see, your other father and I, well, we've changed a little bit together. That's the reason we came all this way to talk to you. We're gay for each other, Poe. And the day you stop being those things is the day when, yes, you stop being useful to me. She kind of gives me Yzma vibes. She needs a cronk. She desperately needs a cronk. Oh, so Tylong does come back. Wait, you took the power out of him? She sucked him dry. Yes, I got it. I read in an interview that apparently they used some AI for the transformation stuff. Do you want me to hate this movie more? I'm already not liking this movie, and then you throw in AI? Mmm, Peach! <laughs> she runs off. She's like, I have to plant this. I won't let anyone else get hurt because of me. So the dad showed up and they were like, we're here to save you. Change is okay. And he's like, thanks, dads. Bye. Amazing. I'm glad we had like 20 minutes of setup for that. I made a mistake. So did I. Trusting you. Is Poe going to hold a, a grudge in here? <laughs> He's so evil. Like, isn't Poe supposed to be like a mature guy who would probably get over this? Like, we're on movie four. He would try to be understanding in this situation. Oh my god, get out of here. It's <laughs> oh, kind of cute, though. That's cute. See, the thing that pisses me off is like, I like their relationship. It's just so undeveloped. Aquafina and Jack Black, they kind of got like some good chemistry. I hate to say it. I am a terrible friend. Friend? That feels a little generous, no? <laughs> <laughs> I know you think it might be too late for a bunch of cheats thieves and cutthroats like us to change our ways. She's literally fucking standing on the soapbox right now. I think you're missing a fundamental point. Violet, violet. This is the same joke again, same joke again. It's just like they repeat a lot of gags, but they don't really change them. It's just like the literal exact same joke again. The chameleon is pulling spirits from the spirit realm and draining us of all our moves. You know what I realized? The Fantastic Five are not in this movie because if they they were this wouldn't be a competition low-key they clean house pretty quickly i feel like if they were in this movie the chameleon would steal their powers and they would be in these cages right now and the stakes would be higher and like poe would actually care about them being locked up now this can go one of two ways it's again, it's the same thing. It's like they constructed half of a movie and then they just played it again. I'm the chameleon. I do nothing but change. Only on the outside. Oh my God. Oh God. <laughs> oh my God. No, because I didn't understand anything about the movie beforehand, but now I understand. I get it now. Master Elephant's trunk twist. Oh. Yo, that feels like a sexual violation right there. Grabbing that trunk, slathering it between his booty cheeks. That, that is a sexual violation. I knew I should have left you to rot in the gutter where you belong. <laughs> <laughs> the way she said that. The peach pit! The most powerful weapon of all. Holy shit, it's like a Dark Souls boss. Awesome! That's my reaction. That is like such a cool moment yeah. for Poe because he's about to fight this crazy ass monster. And even then he's like, yo, that's low key sick though. But I got to kick your ass now, but that's low key sick. No. no. Dude, yo, Edder, play the Gwen when like he tries to grab her in the, in the tower. Skadoo. I thought we were friends. No, no, why wasn't there an evil Skadoo? This movie's only like an hour and a half and it feels like two hours already have passed. Well, it's not because like the movie feels like it drags at all. It's just because like so much shit happens in the movie. Like there's so many scenes that just last a very short amount of time. So we've just been to like so many places. It feels like I have to pee on a road trip. I'm like, let me just get out and stretch my legs real quick, man. I do think it does drag because I'm not invested in anything. Stir, serve, and scablam! Scablam! <laughs> Ain't no fucking way that they did a scablam. He said it. But you said it after. He's like a TikTok Rizzler, so he has style. He says it after now. He's a TikTok Rizzler. He has style. Maybe Uguay was right about you. 
You aren't completely useless after all. Maybe the spirit realm just makes you chill as fuck. Well, they all be smoking that ganja in the <laughs> spirit realm, so. He's, he's like totally chilled out. Kai's such a bad villain, they didn't even give him a voice line, dude. Jen, do something! Third rule. Third rule. Kill yourself. Now! Skablam! <laughs> you chose the fox? You know when you know. You know? Marriage. Isn't that what people say about marriage? Interracial marriage. Master Shifu can't accept it because he's a traditional man. He's right. What about me says I'm ready for this? You literally beat the villain of the movie, dude. <laughs> I didn't even do that. I think that's what makes you right. Do you want a cookie? I'm glad we brought that joke back. I'm, ja I'm Jack Lee brought black. Ah. Ah. Peace! Are you ready to begin your training? This is the best part of the movie. Here's where Jack Black does the fucking Britney Spears. I brought a little help. Tigress! They literally show up at the credits. What were you doing? What the fuck were they- What were they doing? Aromer, Alex McLean, Alzheimer's is a bad disease. We should cure it. Andrew Husky, Arachnidroid, Aaron Tates, and Atomic Leon Bento, Blake Rivera, Kane Rivers, Tom Luke, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Grenados, Gub Stargazer, Gurney Snile Yernison, Happy and Egg, Helio, Histrionics Ribbler, Honor Pearson, Hummus, Hydropon, Isaiah Alfred, K99, Kamui, King of the Street, Lilac Moon, Loka Pegged, Brett Han, Michael Rodriguez, Milan Zekanovic, Merc, Native, Omega Waffles, Oscar Annis, Pablo the God, Patrick Case Randolph, Pizza Loving Panda, R. Dizel, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Rathoka, Quinn Christian, Sam, Skyler is Milk's Mama, Kieran Sills, Tyler Russell, Val Explicit, Victoria.